Welcome back inside Training Camp Live, presented by Old Spice. Back here with you from Jets Camp, Florham Park, New Jersey, where new has kind of been the theme here uh, at Jets Camp, not only out on the field, but here with us as well. We had a chance to chat with your teammates, by the way, Alan Lazard, sitting down right here between Rhett Lewis, Steve Smith Sr. Alan, we were talking with Randall Cobb. We talked to McCole Hardman, talked to Quentin Jefferson, all guys that have kind of joined this team, as I mentioned with, with Q, like the, the hype train is, is in high gear yeah. here. How has it been to kind of jump in knowing, you know, what this was going to be like and knowing all the attention that was going to be on you guys? Um, it's a blessing. You know, I think all of us know new coming here to New York, um, just the different type of media attention that we would get. Obviously, Aaron coming here, um, him leaving after 18 years spending in Green Bay and everything, doing his thing there to come here that, you know, we're loading up for a good season. You know, we plan on playing in, in January and hopefully in February as well. So it's been a blessing, but, you know, we're still in training camp day whatever it is yeah you know <laughs> we're at that point in yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't tell you what day of the week it is right. i just know i got a meeting at three o'clock that there i gotta get to so i'm just taking a day by day having fun and you know trying to get better but going against this deep defense top 10 defense uh you have no days off what is it what what is it like to to go against these guys each and every day yeah you can't take a rep off you know, especially when you go against guys like Sauce Gardner, DJ Reed, guys are um, are really savvy with their techniques, and you know they're they're hip to what we're trying to do as an offense and our stems, our reads, the depth of our routes and stuff. So it's making us better every single day, especially the the younger guys. I feel like you've seen the growth of just understanding to be able to expand their game, switch up their releases, um, switch up the tempos and the routes, and just be able to go out there and make plays. You're only. You're a young kid, young guy in the league, but now you're on your second team. What has that transition been like for you thus far? Third team, actually. Oh, yeah. I was in Jacksonville back yeah. at 18. People don't know that. Look I, that. Came, I got out the mud. <laughs> don't forget that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I, was down, I was right? down in the Iowa trenches State? in yeah. Jacksonville, well, Duval. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, I wouldn't necessarily categorize As that. a practice squad guy? Yeah, but it was short-term, and it was a blessing at being short-term. It was more than certainly a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> At that time. At that time, especially. Yes. Um, but here, just learning just the league, you know. Obviously, I think everyone kind of grows up and enters the league thinking, that, okay, when I get into this organization, this is where I'll be the rest of my career. Mm -hmm. Of not really just knowing the business and how things work out and everything. So, um, you know, what Jacksonville taught me was just that I had a lot to work on as an individual. Mm -hmm. You know, getting to Green Bay was, was just learning on how and seeing the best do it on a daily basis on, on why they are still in the league, why they're on the second, third, fourth contract maybe yeah. and everything. And here, you know, I think I'm just trying to implement what I've learned these past five, six seasons um, of the other organizations, be able to be a leader, um, be just a, um, a reliable source, you know, when it comes to third down, tough situations, fourth quarter, just being able to step up and, you know, maybe it's not just making a play, maybe it's just running running the guy off, maybe it's making a block, maybe it's just doing the little things and just trying to be an example for everyone else. I, you know, I'm glad you brought that up because I was talking about that with Steve earlier. In addition to your, your terrific production in the past game, you've kind of earned a reputation for being a dog in the run game too, yeah. right? You and yeah. Corey Davis as well here. I mean, you feel like you take a take some pride in that? And, absolutely. And that being a big piece of what you do and who you are? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think... Um, that's, I knew that it, I had to staple myself in the run game for coaches to get their attention and to be able to see me and, and knowing that, you know, if they load the box and we are able to run the ball, but then I can also um, run routes as well. I'm um, yeah. just making myself more than one dimensional and everything. So I like to play physical. I like, you know, seeing guys like him yeah. that have you know, paved the path and everything in the league um, of how to play as a wide receiver and stuff and just being multi dimensional. And, you know, at the end of the day, I want to win. Right. And, you know, I'm going to give everything I can for my teammates. So when it comes to my turn to be able to eat, that they're doing the same thing. Alan, what's the, what's the competitiveness like within your receiver room? Yeah, I feel like you got a lot of different kind of personalities in there, yeah. too. We were talking to McColl. Yeah. Looks like he likes to have some fun. You he got the, loves to have right? fun. Right? You got the vet <laughs> and Randall Cobb. Like, take us inside there a little bit if you can. Yeah. Um, like you said, there's a bunch of personalities, a bunch of different styles of plays and everything. And I think because of that, everyone's learning something new every mm. single day of just on what little pieces they can I can pick from G-Dub's game or what yeah. I can pick from Corey's game or or Randall with his savvy vetness you know, of just, you know, being able to pre-snap, be able to, <laughs> I like that. to be able to see the defense and just, like, knowing what to anticipate with the plays and stuff. So, you know, I'm just trying to add my little two cents and, and my little skill set to the room and um, do whatever I can to help us grow. Well, you've developed into a well, you know, well-rounded wide receiver to, yeah. to take the emphasis and know you can run routes. 
You know, I watched you in college. You can run routes, right? And then now understanding that you can make yourself more attractive yeah. by blocking. Man, that's dope, man. Yeah, Absolutely. it's awesome, man. Thanks again for spending some time here with us, Alan. Really appreciate it, man. You guys are going to be fun to watch this year, that's yep. for sure. Absolutely. We look forward to it. And uh, I know we won't, we won't see you on Thursday, but we'll see you soon. See uh, me in January. Sure. There, yeah, that's <laughs> <good> book, right? <laughs> that's the mindset. That's our mindset, too. Uh, here, Inside Training Camp Live, presented by Old Spice here with the Jets today.